Hey friends, it is Katie Babs and you are off stage with DWP and today I'm with Dance Gavin Dance. We got like 98% of the band here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most of us. We're going to break a bunch right now. We're going to go around the circle and say our names. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce Wait. yourselves. Uh, I'm Matt. I play drums in Dance Gavin Dance. And I'm coming to you guys live here in Sacramento, California. Who's next? You, Tillian. Okay. I'm Tillian from Dance Gavin Dance. I sing. And, I, and I'm in LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were saying the location. I, I, I don't know why. I, I just felt yeah. like adding that. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Tim. All right, I'm Tim from Dance Gavin Dance. I play bass, and I'm at at an undisclosed location. <laughs> Alien grounds in Sacramento. <laughs> hey, I'm John. Dance Gavin Dance. I like this already. We we haven't done an interview like this with uh, everybody separately in. I know. Yeah, we. In case you guys didn't know, we are from Dance Gavin Dance. <laughs> <We're gonna nail laughs> hey, we forgot out. to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna get started by congratulating all of you on the new record, Afterburner. Why, thank, thank you. you. Afterburner yeah. has been on so many charts already, just to name yeah. a few, you got number one Billboard top album, number 14 Billboard top 200, and then number one current rock album. Yes. And I could go on for probably about 20 more minutes listing off all the other ones, but uh, were you guys thinking of potentially postponing the, re the release date of the record due to everything that's going on? I mean, it definitely came up. Uh, we had no idea what to do because it's such a gray area. And, um, but I felt like we were all pretty adamant about just getting getting it out there for our fans. And, and we also feel like if we waited, it would just leak naturally. So yeah. Yeah, we didn't want to, we, we didn't want to postpone it. So I, I would say there's a hundred percent chance it would have leaked if we didn't release it on the date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Has on that the happened that we, before? Uh, it happens um, often. <laughs> yeah yeah basically every time i mean over the last few releases haven't been as bad as when the band first started but we've had albums leak like months before they came out i think uh death star our second record like shit it leaked like how long john it was like three months before it came out oh yeah i, I kind of forgot about that <laughs> yeah, that's, that's in real i, I yeah. got when you when you guys well, did it was me right I What's that? In at that point, so if people thought oh, yeah. I had I had leaked it. That's right. Yeah, that was a rumor. Oh, that's the rumor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the rumor. I, did, I don't you know. Make your own music. I how to do that? <laughs> I guess you'd put it on like mega upload or some shit. That was like in two thousand eight. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's mega. crazy. Well, also you had a. a tour for the record release and obviously that was postponed that was with uh Vale of Maya and Animals versus Leaders and Issues and I specifically remember this because the first show in LA that got canceled it got canceled the day of right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but also we were all gonna come me and Hayden and the whole crew was gonna come and celebrate my birthday oh wow so, it was like our birthday plan. We're like, yeah, we're going to go see our friends. It's going to be awesome. And then Derek was like, yeah, it's not going down. Dude, yeah. it was it was such a sad day. And of course, it was like pouring down rain. And we were just like sitting in the parking lot and just got broke. This bad news that basically the worst possible scenario happened. And so it, it was a rememberable day. That's for sure. Yeah. And at the venue, too. We were yeah. we showed up. I went home to shower mm -hmm. and then they're like, hey, you got to come back here because I think we're canceling the tour. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Even if we're just in the venue, just hanging out in the green room, right? Just like waiting to see what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, we were there and they were about to unload our gear and they're like, wait, 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 wait. I think the mayor said that we can't do the show. And uh, then sure enough, they called it. And then, and then like 10 minutes later, we called the rest of the tour. So it all happened pretty fast it would have been pretty amazing if the la show still went on yeah that would have been really cool the rest of it. <laughs> yeah 
That there were people a- are people were already in line. <laughs> it was yeah. yeah. People were there. They were like ready to go. And then of course they blamed the band and it's like you have no control over it. Wait, did yeah, and then did everything one of you guys go out there. to the front and say like sorry? I did I did with yeah. Derek. Derek and I oh, went over funny. there and told a few of them. Um but yeah, because they, they're just still like waiting out there and getting rained on. Uh, but, you know, and the other thing, too, about with canceling is like we didn't. And it's funny because I didn't feel so strongly about this then at the time. But we didn't want to be responsible for spreading the virus and people coming to the show and getting shit. We, you know, it wasn't necessarily about us getting it. But uh, I don't know. All in all, we made the right decision. We had no choice anyway. So. Yeah, of course. It was, it was a big bummer for all of us. I think I just ended up going to Rainbow Room. <laughs> standard yeah. nice still, i'm sure it was still an excellent birthday then uh, I, I don't really remember it so I, <laughs> it must have been good <laughs> good shit um but also i want to talk about uh the afterburner album art because i need to know what's going on you got like this bull on a mm-hmm. throne and then you got animals surrounding the bull and some look happy some are like doing weird stuff and you guys are very like you got like comic books and all this artsy stuff going on. So tell me a little bit about the album artwork. All right. Um, well, the previous uh, record um, is the scene from above. So that's uh, in the clouds. Um, the I guess that's the heaven. And then below is the uh, hell. And uh, that's pretty much the basic gist of it. Um, and then the previous cover to that was like uh, the mothership one. And then before that, there was a war. So there, there's a vague storyline that's, uh, you can connect some of the dots. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much I want to just uh, rattle off what it what it is, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the next cover will, will be something related to the previous one, probably. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of there's a story going on then we have the graphic novel which like uh also uh ties some things together so i guess it's more so we don't like spoon feed it to you and I, we're all, you know we also like to be totally honest we're you know we make stuff up as we go along too as i'm sure a lot of writers and people you know making movies and tv shows do as well but so some stuff ends up being pretty new to us too so Speaking of the the graphic novel, is there one of you in particular who does more so for that and has a lot of the ideas and uh, Jonathan? John, I'm trying to point at John. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, me and me and Will made up the the story, rough story for that, and then a uh, guy came back with the script for it, and then we tweaked it a bit, and then uh, yeah, I did a lot of the editing related stuff for it. Um, but we also have those uh, music video, animated music videos that follow a storyline as well. So um, it continues with that. And then the album artworks um, also fill in some of the gaps. Um, yeah, it's not full. It's not fully fleshed out yet. So. Um, and I see a lot of artwork. The only, the only thing I can think to say about it, or like what, what, where I would want it to go next, uh, but I'd rather just like not reveal that, you know. Yeah, of course. Keep it a secret. Yeah. Keep it in there. And I see that you have a lot of artwork behind you at the moment. Who Who is the artist who does all of it? Uh, for uh, the band, we have Matthias at all. No, right behind you. Oh, behind me. Oh, yeah. I've been, um, well, my my mom's side of the family are all artists. So I started doing art before music. Um, and like my, my mom's a ceramicist. My uncle's a metal sculptor. Uh, my uh, aunt's like architect and uh, some other cousins or painters so um yeah i've been doing this since i was a little kid and uh that's that's, i got my degree in it at sac state that's so. pretty sweet I, I always like like a lot of artwork i follow this artist named laura zombie from montreal canada and she has a lot of super colorful very meaningful work so if you're ever looking for a new artist you should look up her stuff i think you'd like it okay cool check it out um and then going on to the live stream you guys did july 17th it was phenomenal me and all the guys watched it we were like it was full force full production (laughs) sounded amazing 
And Tillian, I know earlier you were saying how like you really didn't know what to expect and you had no idea what was going to happen, but it turned out to be one of the like most successful live streams. Yeah, um, I think that our fans were craving a show since we had the the tour kind of booked and and mostly sold. And um, yeah, I didn't know what to ex expect just because I've only seen them, never been in one. But I think the lighting kind of made it like a better vibe than I was expecting. So um, yeah, I'm happy with it. And, and we'll take that and improve on it if we do another one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to add too. Is it was it was such a learning experience for us that now after it kind of felt like a sports team because we were able to like go and review the comments and review the performance and see you know what changes you know we can make going forward in the next one and make mm -hmm. it a little better for the fans. And so you're hopefully planning on doing another then. Yeah, I, maybe we'll see. Yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to get like we'll pressured by the fans, okay. but. I'm sure I'm I we'll see. Was it, so it took you guys a couple days to set that set that up and you did it from Sacramento. But were you I mean it must have been a different feeling knowing that you're playing full stage, full setup and then no one in the audience mm -hmm. other than, you know, a guy running the soundboard and the lights and probably a couple family members or something. What was that? Yes. Like? My, yeah, my wife was there actually. Yeah. So there were, there yeah, were honestly, some people. <laughs> the more people there kind of helps a little. Like, it, yeah. I mean, I mean it, help, it helps crowd. for me that yeah. we did, yeah. we did five practices though. So we were like, we were prepared or five. Yeah. yeah. I I almost felt like it was easier to play really solid without having like distractions of the crowd. But then, like the energy and vibe, you know, you feed off of the audience, and so not having mm -hmm. that, it, it's a little weirder to like rock out and like you're, you're really getting into it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed the live stream, and uh, me and my husband were watching, it and we loved it. And we said that our favorite ones that have come out during this pandemic have been Code Orange and you guys. I heard the Code Orange one was hella tight. I, I still I still haven't gotten a chance to watch that. Oh, you gotta. It's, <laughs> it's pretty it rad. But uh, moving on to DWP festivals, you guys are OGs. You've been playing a lot of them. You've done Rock on the Range, Northern Invasion, uh, Aftershock twice, 2015, 2018. And then you were set to play Sonic Temple of this year. But unfortunately, that is no longer happening. And... Uh, a lot of musicians are bummed out about that because they were like, we were going to play with Metallica. Dude, <laughs> seriously. And then, yeah, we, the, we were doing some festival too with Leonard Skinner. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I would have definitely been into that. <laughs> it was one in Daytona, I yeah. think. But, oh, dude, I was, I was yeah, it was bum. Those are going to be the probably largest events we've ever played. <laughs> but, yeah, well, but, hey, you know, hopefully there's always next year, hopefully. 2021 is going to be a jam-packed year for all musicians, so you guys got to be ready, extra ready. Fingers, fingers crossed. Yeah, hopefully. But uh, give us some memories from your DWP experiences at the <laughs> festivals, because there must be some good ones out there. I got a real good one. Oh, okay, I'm ready. I don't know how much I could say. It's about John. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was the last Danny Wimmer festival that we played, actually. I think that was the last one. So oh, Northern Nor Northern Invasion. I'm not going to get too much into it, but but uh, I don't even. Know what you can imagine. Just imagine. You know, just imagine. just just imagine. Your imagination. Some so, stitches. So, someone had to get stitches. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jonathan. Can you give us just a flesh wound? <laughs> just just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, I really want to know now. I, oh, my, my arm went through one of the, like, the windows. It wasn't like tempered glass. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I had to get stitches. Did it you get the stitches on, on site? <laughs> no, I went to the hospital. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I got it in my forearm. It was like, uh, we were in one of those like portable little trailers. And there's just like a window over here. And I was just like, did a little knock for some reason. I don't know. I wasn't even in a. In a mood. Yeah, you weren't in a bad mood. My arm just went like through it, like 
with literally no force at all. And yeah, I just cut my arm and I looked down, I was just like bleeding everywhere. Oh my God. It was horrific. Yeah, the paramedics that showed up thought that we, like, we attacked him. <laughs> like, no, I didn't. Starting to a band altercation. That's what they, it kind of. Yeah, looked, they, they thought that. that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a couple of us back at the hotel. And then, so I get a call like, oh, we got to get the car back here. We got to take John to the emergency room. <laughs> he cut his arm, he's bleeding. So we like didn't know what the hell to expect. <laughs> we were all freaking out. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring that up, John. It, it was just a uh, for that. No, that's a good story. It was like $1,800. Honestly, yeah, it was a good more, story. Given America. Wait, they built, oh, they built you for the hospital. <laughs> for the for stitches, the hospital. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so for anyone just tuning in, you are off stage with DWP. My name's Katie Babs, and I'm hanging out with the guys in Dance Gavin Dance. And uh, we were just yeah. going over some DWP festival memories. We heard a pretty good one, but I want to hear another one, if any of you can uh, muster up something good. Well, a, a good memory. We, didn't we do that one that was with Tool and Allison Ooh, Chain? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was fun. Yeah, that was yeah. an awesome show. That was in uh, the Wisconsin one. What was that? Called? Oh, was that, that was Invasion? that was Northern Invasion. That was tight. Yeah, Tool I and then some, like Minnesota or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to play too many. <laughs> yeah. At the Tool one, I was just chilling, and some dude came up to me, and he was like, "Hey, man, you ever seen Tool?" And I was like, "No," and I'm not even making this up. And he's like, "Hey, you ever seen Tool on mushrooms?" And then he pulled out some shrooms and gave me one. And then I yeah. ate them and I, and I, I, I tripped balls and watched yeah. Tool. <laughs> yeah. It was tight. Oh, so actually, I, I, I forgot about that. So that, that is my That's got to be the cool best story. story. I would love to see Tool on mushrooms. And those were, those were legal mushrooms, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was legal. Legal, <laughs> legal psilocybin. Yeah. yeah. Fully, well, yeah. You, you, a doctor prescribed it right on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was wearing a lab coat, so he, he was, I could trust him. Well, let's all just agree that DWP festivals are the best ones that there are. We can agree. I agree. Think, yeah, I however, can, yeah. however, our, our festival. Swan Fest, yeah. yeah, I was going to say Swan Fest, though, dude. So, you know, maybe, we'll, maybe, one, maybe <laughs> yeah. one day we'll combine forces and make the best festival in the world the yeah world and we're not even, we're not even biased at all swan fest is definitely the best and then <laughs> i've been to both yeah. <laughs> oh that's awesome and uh i wanted to talk about the erase me tour with under oath because i was able to be on a lot of dates on that tour that's right yeah so i was watching you guys every night and it was the first time that i had seen you guys live like the first night i was out on tour i saw you guys live and i was like oh my god tillian's like really <laughs> got some dance moves up there and everybody was like he always does that that's his <laughs> thing like he's done that forever and i was like how did i not know this so i feel like i need like a little dance lesson from tillian eventually sometime <laughs> i'm not good at dancing i try to do a salsa <laughs> class uh, in Mexico recently, and I was literally the worst person in the class. Like hands down, I was what? That's the amazing. number one worst person in the class. Yeah, get real good dancing's hard. It yeah, I know. I yeah. I think it just started as like a, you know, you got to have something that you're doing on stage in between because John and I switch off. Yeah. So I think it just like gradually evolved. First, I moved my toes a little bit and then i moved my ankles mm -hmm. and knees and then hips and then now it's just the whole body, the whole body. all right all right forrest gump yeah <laughs> wait what forrest gump scene is that at the at the very beginning when he like starts to dance and stuff and oh yeah he, oh and yeah, like... oh, yeah. <laughs> no yeah that that I, when it comes to dancing i would say i'm more forrest gump than expert I mean, it, it, you seem to really have it going when you're on stage. Like, it's a full body role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if, yeah, if Forrest Gump, after that scene, had done, like, 1,000 shows, mm -hmm. by the end of it, like, he'd be, he'd have something. Wait, okay, so do you have, do you have certain moves for certain songs? No, none of it, you, you there's zero planning. It's just, <laughs> I, it's like, Maybe just like 
I don't know. I mean, the, the, I, would, I will say this. When I go and dance for fun, it's not exactly the same. So there must be something to it being like guitar influenced and rock and, have, and live drums. I don't know. It's, it's like your metal version. Yeah, probably. Of dancing. Well, I've never seen anyone else do it before. No one. So I think that is uh, something that definitely stands out. I've seen when Sonny Moore used to sing for from first to last. He used to oh, do really? it. Really? Well. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I remember when I was like a teenager watching him, and he was a teenager too, I guess. But he did a little bit of a body roll, and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe that's the thing that stuck in the back of my head." <laughs> Oh, maybe we can find some video footage yeah, some, of Sonny Moore do, some doing that. Because... You think, video yeah, you think he does it as Skrillex? You think Skrillex ever does body rolls? I'm sure he does yeah. all types of rolling. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, this has been fun. I mean, it's definitely different having a bunch of people on a Zoom call rather than just one. Hmm. But yeah. I see you guys being here. And uh, half from Sacramento, Tillian in LA, and hopefully we can uh, see a show sooner than later. And the tour will be rescheduled shortly. Yep. And I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, and just you know, keep your eyes and ears peeled for any other possible live streams or you know anything else that we do on our socials. I mean, if uh, Tillian wants to do a Zoom call where he teaches me the body roll, let's get that. <laughs> that would get so many views, too. Oh. <laughs> it, it would. No, Tillian, we should do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching. like, Ooh. Track. It's kind of like s singing lessons. Like, I don't really have anything to teach. It's all like, it's just okay. repetition. Well, we'll, just, we'll just put on Afterburner. And then we'll both just have a dance off. It will be a dance party Zoom call. <laughs> get, Matt sounds... involved, get Matt to play drums at least. Yeah, that, <laughs> that sounds exactly fun. Actually, that does sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> like Matt do and Tim. I got. I don't have much much else. No, to Matt, do, you so. have the whole setup at your house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Put on the concert here. <laughs> so dance party coming next week. I'll tell you what. Bring that guy. Bring that guy that gave you mushrooms at the. <laughs> at the tool concert. At the tool concert. And then I'll definitely do it. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a great time to me. But <laughs> thanks again for joining me off stage with DWP. And uh, you guys rule. I'm super stoked we got to do this. Yeah, thanks okay. for having us. Thank you.